Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are in the home stretch. What I propose to do in this video, in preparation for moving things around, I want to take the Mac Pros apart, at, at least to the point of pulling all the components out. I'm not going to take the logic boards out, but yeah, disassemble them, give them a cleaning which I think is, is an important thing that, that I, I have not really done, but I was looking back at the video about a stab, uh, putting in the uh, Wi-Fi card, and there's a, there's a lot of dust in there. So, you know, we'll get that cleaned out. It's not surprising that the cheese grater look is really cool, but the reason it exists is functionality all of those open holes in the front and the back. <clears throat> Air gets drawn in from the front by the fans, blown across the heating components, and then out the back. And it works really well, as we can see for the 10 years now that these computers have been running. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll be taking them apart, uh, there are some things that I want to do, for instance, in the original bent leg Mac Pro that's in front of me. I want to take a good look to see what it is that went wrong, why the Bluetooth component didn't take effect, although the Wi-Fi did. Uh, I want to reconfigure some drives while I'm in there. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at all of that, and I hope you can enjoy that. The next video after that should most likely uh, be seeing where the machines are in the house now. Well, I hope you enjoy. This is the Bent Leg Mac Pro. You can see that from the bent leg down here. Uh, that's really the only damage. <clears throat> Obviously, I've seen them a lot worse than this. Uh, everything's out. The uh, cage for the optical drive, uh, the potentially two optical drives, is out. All the PCIe cards, the graphics card. I did take advantage of it being out to replace the NVRAM battery. It's your standard CR2032 battery. You can get in a drugstore. Uh, and that should be good now for a long, long time. Uh, looking down here, of course, I've taken the processor tray out, uh, and I've been looking specifically at the Bluetooth card there. Unfortunately, everything looks fine. The antenna is connected fine. It's plugged into the power with no issue, very correctly, and over in here. It's plugged in. Now, the one thing that I didn't do was to pull the uh, card out to check the, the antenna placements. It may be loose underneath there, but you know, to be perfectly honest, I've got this to working as long as that Bluetooth dongle is in there. Everything is working just as well on this machine as it is in the other machine. So I think I'm just going to decide to leave well enough alone on that one. Uh, as far as how the machine looks, yeah, there's some dust in there, but it's really not that bad. All right. So, he's behind me. Here we have compressed air. And we're just going to blow things out. Put the fan in the power supply here. Uh, I'm thinking the fan. Okay, you get the 
idea what I'm doing, you can see that we're getting some dust bunnies out already. I also want to do the process of tray here. I'm going to take advantage of this all being out here. I, I'm going to take this drive mounting thing out uh, and take the two drives out. I'm going to put the one, uh, the boot drive from Mojave into there. And these two drives I'm, I'll put in Mount Pro sleds. Um, there's tons of storage in here. All right, so I'll tell you what. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot easier for me to do this without holding the camera. And once again, if I put it on the tripod, I am relatively certain that you won't be able to see much of anything. So I am going to continue. And when next you see this, we should have the Mac Pro put back together. We are back together. Now, this is going to have to come out eventually. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, that, that ram is fine. It's the other one that, that I need to do. Okay, I did make a little change in the placement of the PCIe cards. I've got the Inatech uh, USB 3 right above the graphics card and then removed a little bit i now have the ssd the nvme drive and then above that i have put back in the sonic card because why not all right up in the optical drive bay i have plugged in the optical drive again and the boot drive for Mojave is just sort of hanging there, but that has proven fine. All right, two terabyte SSD, two terabyte SSD. Those are the active working uh, storage solutions. Two terabyte hard drive, eight terabyte hard drive, longer term storage. And then of course, the backup solution the, that's the other one, of course, the OWC Elite Pro Dual. All right, so we should be good to go. It wasn't as horrifically dirty as I was expecting it might be. Of course, I have, I've had it apart and put back together so many times over the last, what, six weeks that I've been working on this thing, uh, that it really wasn't as bad uh, as it could have been. But I still think it's it's good that I did it and probably should do that every six months or so. I am glad that I got the uh, the NV RAM battery changed. That should be good for a good long time now. Okay, we just have to see if it boots up. If everything is successful, uh, we'll do a little bit of talking through it from the Catalina desktop. Everything is working very well. All the drives show up. Uh, everything just seems absolutely fine. Uh, we can take... Oh, I, I should mention, things may look a little different. Uh, this is a different monitor. Uh, it's a 32-inch Samsung. I'll show you about that in a second here. Uh, the 27-inch Samsung, these are both 4K uh, displays, uh, is down in the Banjo Cave awaiting the Mac Pro to power it. Uh, all right. It's going to take some getting used to, I would have to say, uh, is that here I have this huge display and I find myself leaning forward uh, because the print is so small. Now, of course, we can zoom. Uh, all right. So yeah, the, there's the 2 by 3.46 uh, gigahertz 6 core Intel Xeon processors, the 96 gig of RAM. Notice this is 1333. Uh, I do have 
more RAM on order, so we should be able to address that small problem in the other Mac Pro. Uh, and of course, it is a different uh, graphics card. This is the non flash graphics card here. Uh, storage. Everything is showing up and showing up just fine, even though some of those SATA SSDs have moved to different locations. System report. Bluetooth, and yeah, this is, of course, uh, powered by the the dongle but hey it, it's working and the worst news about that is I give up a USB 2 port not exactly a big deal the Wi-Fi of course is still working all is well and you know, with this this network we're still getting 802.11 AC which is what we should get okay now the display yes U32 J59X Samsung 31.5 inches okay uh, and yeah 3840 by 2160 I'm going to try to just get used to that. I can resort to the zooming if I'm actually reading text, but things things look so spectacular. Let's go back to the normal desktop there. It's really just just amazing. All right. Okay, so what's going to happen at this point? Uh, there isn't much left to do. I do have to disassemble the other Mac Pro and go through the same process of cleaning it. That, that was the big uh, accomplishment to get done for today. Uh, I don't think there's any need for me to record any of that because you have now officially seen all of that. Uh, I will, when it's open, be putting in that other uh, SSD and then swapping it uh, so that the boot drive for Mojave is a one terabyte SSD rather than the uh, half terabyte that's in there now. Uh, and that's a drive that I can repurpose to something else. Uh, and beyond that, it's really just little things here and there. Um, I need to yeah, do the RAM again, of course, to get the full capability of the RAM in there. Um, I do have it in mind that I might make a concatenated RAID set of the Two, on both these computers actually of the two storage SSDs just so that it shows up as one four terabyte SSD and this is obviously a little cluttered and then do the same thing here uh, with the two hard drives so that that reads as one ten terabyte hard drive uh, with the concatenated or spanned, also known as JBOD for just a bunch of drives. Uh, it shouldn't have any of the issues that a RAID 0 has. Yes, I realize it doesn't have the redundancy built in um, that a RAID 1 would have, but I do have my my 16 terabytes of backup. So I'm I'm pretty comfortable with all of that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to get to the other Mac Pro. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when everything will get moved. Uh, uh, this Today is Friday as I record this. I imagine this video will come out on Saturday. 
uh, yet another of the daily daily updates that pretty much has to stop because there's just not going to be much more to record at least not on a on a daily basis there but as, as I had said everything is just came together very, very quickly all at once within this last week. Uh, so it's been it's been quite a ride. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Uh, and the next next video may be tomorrow, it may be the, the next day, but once I've got everything set up, you know, we'll show you how things are and you know, get a quick little tour of the various computers that we have available here in the house. Well, anyway, I hope that you have really enjoyed uh, today's video, and we will be back soon with that last video. And then for the future, we'll see what the future holds. Maybe. Okay. Take good care and be well.